What's going on guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You'll return to subscribe as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, man, it seems like nowadays a lot of young people have no respect for the elderly. You see it all the time. They talk to you like they're on your level. They talk to you like they uh, are the same age as you. Sometimes they talk to you disrespectfully. As if you won't do something to them or they target you because you're old and they think they can take you. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Either way, man, this type of stuff is, is, is out of control. You see this uh, boy up here? This is 18 year old Isaiah Marcellus Jones of Dearborn, Michigan. This guy did something a lot of people might think is I mean, it's bad. But a lot of people might say, well, yeah, he needs to go to jail. He needs to push daisies, in my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, what this uh, young man did, he was walking wherever he was walking. Saw a lady at a credit union, Zeal Credit Union in Dearborn, Michigan. Picture it up here. I don't know what it is, but this woman is 72 years old. Like I told you, he hid behind a trash can and carjacked her. And you'll never guess what his reason for doing this was. And like I said, I would show this guy zero leniency if I was a judge and he was in front of me. Take a look. The elderly woman that this happened to says that she is physically OK, but that this really changes her life forever. Ever since this happened, she's watching her back. I thank God that I'm alive. The 72 year old victim will call Deborah carjack the man hiding behind a trash can ambushing her at an ATM. 18 year old Isaiah Marcellus Jones would later tell police he was sick of walking and decided to take the elderly woman's car. I just got so nervous, the, the most nervous I've ever been in my life. A Friday morning trip to Zeal Credit Union in Dearborn ended with a gun in her face. He had the gun in his hand and the first thing he says, give me your keys. And I said, please don't hurt me, please don't shoot me. He allegedly demanded her car keys and purse wouldn't even let her grab her cell phone and drove off, leaving Deborah stranded to walk a half mile to the only store open for help. The belongings that was in my purse that could be replaced, but my life could not be replaced. Dearborn police quickly zeroed in on Jones. They surveyed him, then moved in for the arrest in Southfield the same day. They got the gun he allegedly used to terrorize Deborah too. People that are prey on the vulnerable, that prey on elderly, that prey on children, I agree with you, Jessica. They're, they're dangerous, and we need to make sure to protect our communities and our officers from those individuals. Jones was arraigned Sunday, given a $50,000 personal bond by 36th District Magistrate Maleka Ramsey Heath meaning he wouldn't have to put any money up front to get out of custody. A personal bond for a violent offense like this is extremely rare and uh, it's not, it's out of the ordinary. Dearborn police extremely concerned and confused by that decision given the allegations. It's a capital offense. The penalties in the state of Michigan are life imprisonment. Dearborn's chief judge Sam Salome held an emergency hearing Monday before Jones was let out, changing his bond to $50,000 cash. He remains in custody. Some comfort for Deborah, who says her life is just different now. I'm, I'm terrified now. I'm, I'm panicking. I'm paranoid. I look around everywhere I go now. Magistrate Ramsey Heath, who set that personal bond in this case, also made headlines in 2022 for a similar low bond situation involving a shooting suspect. Now, regarding this most recent case, the head judge at 36th District Court had no comment on the case or the bond that was set. Jessica Dupnack on the ad. All right, guys, first things first, that judge out of line. I don't know who hires and fires judges, but her ass will be out of there. For real, I think a lot of these people, regardless of the position they're in or the job they do, it becomes like a normal nine to five. Sometimes they don't feel like filling out paperwork or doing certain things, and they just say, oh, they judge it by the severity. Oh, he just pulled the gun on her. He didn't hit her. He, he took the car. They caught him the same day. I ah, give him the bond because they don't feel like doing something. It's no way this boy preyed on a 72-year-old uh, woman 
She could have got a heart attack. She could have fell, hit her head, anything. He pulled a gun out on an old lady. That was minding a business. This woman probably lived in that neighborhood longer than he was alive. And it probably was a little bit better back then than it is now. And she thought she was safe. In your own neighborhood, you can't walk down the street because here comes somebody, don't know nothing about nothing, want to come and take something from you or do something to you. You don't get no stripes for that, bro. No stripes. My grandmama, I love to death. Gun or no gun. Somebody do that type of stuff to her, man, it'd have been bad. You don't think somebody loved this uh, woman? She's probably somebody's mother. Probably somebody's grandmother. And you don't know nothing about her. And you run up on her. Like I said, don't know nothing about nothing. Pull a gun on her. And all of a sudden, you take her car. His excuse was he was tired of walking. You only 18 years old. Your legs is fresh. You ain't even fully a man yet. You can afford guns for that, uh, bullets for that gun, but you can't afford bus fare to take you to or fro. You can't afford to go get a job and save up and, and, and embrace the struggle to go get you a car. He took this woman's car at 72 years old. He left her stranded, drove off. F you. She had to walk a half a mile at 72 years old to the next store that was open at that time in the morning. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. If you stood in front of me as a judge and I knew what the penalty was, he'd get the max. Before they even got done talking, yeah, I made my ruling. Yeah. What, what, what's the thing? 5 to 15, he got 15. Boom. Get him out of here. You can appeal it. Fuck off. You got this judge just giving him a bomb where he could just walk out without even paying it. What kind of shit is that? You just let the animals right back out on the street to terrorize more people. Then you wonder why the world is so violent. People don't really learn lessons anymore. Harsh ones. They don't. My granddad bust my ass real bad one time. That's all it took for me. I won't do that no more. Nowadays, kids are so hard-headed. It's like... They just do what they want and they don't think nothing's going to happen to them. Then when they get in court, get sentenced to football numbers, they cry, fall out. Their family want to fight the family of the victim that got killed. Got a warped sense of reality out here. We do. You don't pray on the weak. Nowadays, it's nothing to stick a gun in anybody's face. It's nothing to kill a baby. It's nothing to do something to a woman. And you just seen it. It's nothing to get up and say, I don't give a F. That's my motto. Oh, is it now? Every man has a weakness. Every man has a breaking point. You just ain't seen the reality of yours yet. There are people out there that'll find it. You look hard enough and keep pointing that gun in people's face. This is BS, 18 years old. Ass should be in school or in college or in the military or somewhere. You tired of walking at 18 years old. Hell, you could start working at 16. What the fuck was you doing? I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope this, uh, I mean, you never get your sense of security back, but I hope she get another car and her family surround her and, and support her, man. This is truly messed up. We got to start looking out for each other out here. If not, we're going to be picked apart. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.